Hello my dear people from the Linux community, this is Andrew again and um, this time I wanted to share with you the decision I've made. Um, I've chosen to carry on with KDE um, instead of GNOME. There are several reasons um, of why I have done this, but uh, for the time being this is pretty much what I have, um, um, how I have customized my desktop environment. And it is working really great, I really like it, um, and I have got used to it, I think. Um, so, al although there are several things I still miss from, from GNOME, um, I think I can work faster um, using KDE. Um, so, that's kind of the, in, in basically that's the most important fact um, in general, generally speaking, uh, that have um, made me take this decision. But um, but anyways, before before I start, just let me go ahead and and thank um, people who have made these channels available, and those channels have helped me um, in several ways. System Insight is one of them. Um, thanks to System Insight, I was able to customize my my KDE um, environment um, as I really wanted. Um, so thank you very much for that. That gig has helped me. Um, with um, because I wanted to save the the settings uh, I, I was setting in, in the Nvidia um, in the Nvidia X server settings and it helped me a lot so thanks to to that geek and Rival Linux and Daddy Linux uh, I am going to use um, a portion of their videos in, in this video so so well thank you very much now. Over here, um, starting from the menu, I think I got used to it, and um, it looks it looks pretty good, and it is pretty easy to use and very customizable. Very important. So you can actually go ahead here and um, just um, check what visible tabs you want and what tabs are going to be hidden. So as you can see, these three are the ones that are, that show over here. Um, also, you can change the icon, and, and you can also change the order of these different options. And it's great because, um, of course, the applications I use the most are the, the ones regarding graphics and multimedia and internet and, and, and so on. Um, so you could just simply go ahead and ed edit applications and edit everything here um, quite easily, though. And besides that, um, in GNOME, I used to use a software called Variety. And Variety, I used it for changing the wallpapers, basically. Um, and you don't need anything, any, any software or anything else in KDE. You simply just go to right-click there and configure desktop. And you just set the wallpaper type to slideshow and just set the, um, the time that you want the images to change and that's it so that's pretty great um, also maybe you have seen um, around on, on other channels um, that you can set the panel to be on the left and the right on top or that you can just um, change this and, and modify the widgets just by right clicking over here and you just you could just add widgets and and so on so it is pretty great um, also, I like the the desktop effects I was able to um, to set for my desktop environment, and pretty much um, this is this is what I have here. So maybe if you wanna have a look and and just play around with it, um, it it's really good. But um, basically, when I am sev when, when I am using several applications um, and when I'm move from one to the other i really like those effects um when when it opens an application when when you close an application for instance let's let's do this over here so just in case if you if it is useful for you um so when i just select another another window and and those animations um in between that action are great um it, all those sort of things make me feel like um, I am using a modern desktop environment, a modern operative system, um, so I like it. Um, also, when when I have 
um, several windows open at the same time. Um, I like the fact that uh, the window switcher has been designed beautifully. And I can just move um, between them very easily and very, and it is very intuitive, I guess we can say. Um, also, besides that, I think like a kind of an alternative um, I like using as well is this one where you have like all the, the windows spread around the, um, the desktop and I could just pick um, the, the window I want to um, I want to do something with, I don't know. Um, but all those sort of things make my work um, faster and easier, the reason why I, I like it a lot. Um, basically, so as, as you can see so far, um, the layout has changed a lot. Over here you can see um, how um, Antergo's KDE comes as default. And, and it, it does change a lot, so so basically it, it is to also show you that you can customize KDE in so many ways that, um, I don't know, you can, uh, it's very likely that you can just um, set it to fulfill your needs. Um, so I think that would be basically it for, for this video. The idea is to show you um, from uh, like the aspects um, that I liked and they make a difference but as I carry on with the videos I'm going to show you the reasons um, the, the, the most important reason for me um, to make this decision so I am going to leave uh, like the best futures or the futures I like the most uh, for the end Okay, so um, hopefully I'll see you in the next video. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you have a great day. See ya